It's been about 10 months now since I first started taking ADHD medication and oh boy, things have really changed for me. So let's talk about it. I am still taking Vyvanse. I'm currently on the 50 milligram dose up from 30 for about five months. I definitely had my ups and downs with it, but generally I've been tolerating it really well. I used to take it about an hour before waking up and then I would wake up with a lot of energy, but I also noticed that that kind of ruins the last hour of my sleep and I was tired and not doing that good later in the day. So now I'm just taking it right after I wake up. It takes me through most of the day, 6 p.m. I have another little high and then it slowly fades off into the evening. It's been really great. But with that out of the way, what's changed? The biggest things are the little things, like not having to hug and touch every person I know, being able to pay attention to what they say and notice at least some of their social cues, or remembering to swallow water after I've drank it and not keep it in my mouth for 20 minutes. Yeah, I almost died like that once and then it would have been so embarrassing, less music stuck in my head, Wow, that is such a relief not to constantly be singing something to myself in the background. And just all these little things, not stubbing my toe as much, sustaining much less small injuries throughout the day. Those are the things that make me think, wow, how is it so easy and why did I have to live like that before? Now let's talk the big things. Routine, that is probably the biggest one for me. I have a 96 day streak for my morning routine in my favorite app. That has never happened to me before. And I have been using all kinds of different apps for many years. I've tried all these things and this is my first near 100 day streak. Yoga, meditation, journaling, all these things that are in my routine in that app almost every single day. I have missed some days. I want to be transparent, but 99% of the days I have also done every single habit in these routines. I don't think it's the medicine that makes that difference, but it's the meds that help me to get started, to keep on track, have that extra bit of focus to stay there. And so routines are slowly built. And as we're gonna see in this video, that pretty much helps with every other thing in life. But in summary, that mostly translates to things like waking up and falling asleep on time, consistently having a clean space, being able to rely on my energy, having it more manageable, and having more free time. Next, health-related things, starting with fitness. I mentioned in my two-month medication update that I had started walking nearly every single day, and that was about in last May. And I've kept it up. I have actually kept it up from then until now in a sustainable way that I truly enjoy. Why do I think that the medication helps? Of course, I have worked out before. I've worked out longer and more rigorously and obviously gave it up at some point. Well, I think it really helps because of a complex web of things that just build on top of each other. So you have the better sleeping and waking up schedule. You have the better eating schedule. You have the better working schedule. All these little things, not stubbing your toe all the time, not getting distracted by social media all the time, not having music in your head all the time. It's like a little web that just builds and builds and builds. And that is why it took me seven months of medication to get into the consistent yoga routine. Every single morning doing 45 minutes of yoga. And it was really built on that consistent schedule of waking up, which took me a while to get right. And I think that's a positive spiral, whereas without the medication, I was often in a negative spiral. You stay up too late, you procrastinate on something, you feel disgusting from eating pizza all the time, you haven't showered, and then it just builds and builds and it gets worse. So that's why I think the medication helps because it helps with all those little things that build you up, that build up your confidence, and then you can rely on yourself to go and sustainably work out versus just crash and burn with some get slim fast or get strong fast fitness program. Another huge thing for me is weight control. I lost five or six kilograms in the first six months of being on medication by slowly 
working out and eating a little bit less and I'm very happy with my progress and I've been maintaining. I've been maintaining my weight for four months, which has never happened before. Usually I would go back, I would have some kind of binge eating attack and I would not be able to sustain my progress. But for the first time ever, I'm just able to hold down a certain weight. I don't think I could do it without the medication, at least not at this point. About a week ago, I was randomly unmedicated because I miscalculated how much meds I needed for travel. And in the two days I didn't have meds, I ate so much I could have puked. I just kept binging and binging because I was, um, I underslept due to the travel. I was medicated, I was stressed. And that's just the impossible impulsivity that is a reality of ADHD. I, I have no solution to weight control for myself without the meds, at least right now. Sleeping is of course a essential part of health and my sleeping schedule has also really helped me to sleep better because if I wake up early consistently then I am tired consistently around the same time and then it takes me much less time to fall asleep. Yes, I did have sleep trouble but that was in the very beginning. I'd say it was in the first month and then never again. Finally, in terms of health, skincare, yay! and also dental care, I guess, all these little hygiene routines that you have to do frequently and remember to do them at the same time every day, every other day, I have never been able to stick to. I've been taking a lot of before photos my whole life. They are just waiting there for me to do the thing consistently and take an after photo. And I have taken very few, if any, after photos and that feels terrible but now with the medication I have taken several after photos and at some point I realized I'm sending my mom all this before and afters it has never happened in my life and it feels very good and it gives me hope for the future so before and after of my skin before and after of my weight loss of treating my back acne we're definitely going to talk about these little success stories and I want to hear yours but this has been one of the biggest things for me. So share yours. If you have a before and after, what was that like? Now for focus and productivity, the thing that everybody wants to know about, the thing that people think we are cheating at by being medicated. That would be really nice to have, except you can't really direct your focus. Yes, the medication helps you focus, but if you're focused on World of Warcraft for 10 hours, that's not gonna help you clean your house. I really had to go deep into silence, not doing everything with music or podcasts or YouTube in the background, watching less videos, uninstalling even more apps from my phone, just going out for a walk in silence, these kind of things so that I could learn here is how you move your focus from one thing to the other without having the video just push you through it or the music pull you through it or just whatever comes to your mind. Just consciously saying, now we wanna do this. Productivity has been much better for me with the daily focus that I've had. If I can put all of my lists and checklists and timers and calendars to work and combine that with my intention, my focus, while having a quiet mind, then the productivity works out. I have time to do the work and I have free time to relax. That is in stark contrast to me before, whereas I would be working, but only kind of, it would take too long. I'd be resting, but only kind of, it would take too long and then my sleep would suffer. Or if I work too long, my playtime would suffer. If I play too long, my work time would suffer. And the point is, I never had balance. And with my 100 coping mechanisms combined with the medication that really helps them to work, a lot of experimentation, I can finally say this has improved for me most days. If the meds work right and if I have slept enough, if I have ate properly, if I have hydrated properly, and if I am not on my period or having PMS, and sometimes if the stars align because medication is not always reliably working unless you are giving a very constant input of all these things to your body and period is uncontrollable. So it's just still 
definitely an uphill battle. The positive spiral definitely helps. I just really want to say for the people who believe we are some kind of speed addicts with an unfair advantage, yeah, we're always just swimming, trying to hold our head above the water. We are definitely not going all out gold medalist all of the sudden. Being less impulsive, as in not saying something stupid before you think about it, or getting in a fight with someone, or thinking for one second before you speak, not replying to a text before you've even took the time to understand what they really mean by it. It could get you injured or worse stubbing your toe while you're running around or having some really strange accident are things that are not foreign to me and that has happened way less. I already broke my little toe twice and I don't really want to do it the third time. That has been almost natural with the medication. That I can say almost feels like an unfair advantage but it's normal for neurotypical people. I had a bunch of anger issues and a really bad time where I was extremely impossibly tired from upping my medication from 30 to 50. But that is a longer story that I will tell you very, very soon. But I want to take one second to be really vulnerable with you here. I don't want to live without medication. Not that I don't want to live, but I don't want to live without medication, at least in the foreseeable future. It has made my life so, so much better. And if you're curious about how it was for me on my first day, you can have a look at this video. If you wanna help me talk about how everyone has ADHD right now, it's just a trend, you can have a look at this video. One last thing, it is my cat's birthday, so I really need you to wish her all of the best because she's such a good girl. Her name is Leah, she's seven years old. Happy birthday, baby.